thank everybody for watching crypto revolution we talk about everything crypto daily jumping right into the market today in crypto bitcoin weekly chart rejected this key level by bitcoin where you had you had a previous bounce by the bulls is now the ceiling which it was here too where you had this bounce and then rejection here again bounce and rejection got a long wick on top this is this is a pretty ugly weekly candle for the bitcoin bulls in order to prevent more downside the bulls have to show up here this is the eight hour chart we have this double top back here and bitcoin's been you know just trending lower in kind of a falling wedge type pattern the bulls need to show up and break out at the support level there's some news tomorrow, which we're going to talk about in a second, that's going to move the market potentially. Again, right now, technically speaking, you've got a falling wedge, 68% chance it breaks to the upside. And you're at support. See how this price action hung in right here, bounced right here. So you're at this same level, right? So, but if you get some negative news and this support breaks to the downside, again, you want to just see a higher low. You could see, you know, 40,000, 38,000 below that. So Bitcoin eight hour chart giving one idea. The bulls hopium is that this is a falling wedge where 68% chance breaks out to the upside. This would be a pretty bullish retrace. See the support level here, this order block, right? Essentially this is going to act as support here. So the bulls need a bounce here for some short term upside to save a move lower down to 40,000. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. Shout out to Alex. He says, I went from $500 in six months to $36,000. Gem picks banging. This person made $8,000 in two days. He's got a family. He's trying to put him into private school, get a nice home for his wife. Life changing money, period. This person started trading with $1,000 a couple weeks ago, and now he's up to $12,000. KuCoin setups have been banging. When this market's moving the right direction, and actually we've been trading a ton of shorts. I posted this AVAC short on the 11th. It's just, it, so these shorts, there are three X shorts on KuCoin. Make a KuCoin account. There's a VIP link in the description. There's been so much upside for these short tokens. Bitcoin's been in this tremendous downtrend and AVAC shorts turned into 39% profits in two days, in two days, you made 39% making money when everything's dropping. If you are not making a ton of money right now in this market, I can help you. I'll make sure you're in the best, most profitable trading setups. Right now, for a limited time, there's a New Year's special. You get $100 off and 60% off the regular prices. Remember, you go over to the website, cryptorev.net. Pays for itself. It's a no-brainer, cryptorev.net. If you go down into the description of this video, there's a link take you directly to this website. Remember, if you have any questions, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. Been constant green after green after green after green trade, right? So you've got to be able to trade the market both ways and we're doing so. So the meeting, you guys have heard about it, the closed board meeting. There's a lot of FUD, a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt about this. A lot of people are scared of the Fed becoming hawkish and raising rates faster than they've talked about. Remember that the stock market prices in information and data immediately. So a lot of this downside is potentially priced in, but we want to look at the SPX or the downside potential. So unless, unless Fed comes out with something crazy and surprises Wall Street, you know, this, this potentially doesn't move the market. But however, it's Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, Monday market open. I, I think you see a move out of Bitcoin in the next 24 hours. I think there's going to be some volatility in store for Bitcoin. Be ready. Be on point. SPX. So SPX, you got the same type double top that you had on, say, this Bitcoin one hour chart. Same again. Bulls need to show up here. But the SPX is extremely oversold on the RSI. Right, where you've seen, so back here, oversold RSI, you saw a bounce. Oversold RSI, actually here, small bounce and rolled over. And then the second bounce, you had 
a more significant bouncing, but it's still rolled over. So at this point, you're just looking for some type of short-term bounce idea to play out for the SPX. But the when the Fed comes out, if they make any decisions that are outside of what Wall Street's looking for, this will shake the market. So just remember, the Fed is going to start raising interest rates and this tightens the money supply. It's making the United States government loans money to the banks, right? And the bank loans money to people. Well, if the Fed raises rates that raise the price that banks are paying the government, well, so in turn, the banks just charge more and this tightens the money supply. It also reduces inflation, which is out of control. The Fed has to do something. So again, will you see a short-term bounce? Will this just nuke? But RSI, extremely oversold. About to happen. Be ready. Look at the pre-markets. Again, stock market immediately prices in what they think is going to happen. A lot of the downside has been priced in as far as the fear uh, in the market. However, anything comes out abnormal and it won't be good for Wall Street. Like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.